Alina Rabakina versus Marta Kostruk is the final of Stuttgart for 2024. And both players have caused massive upsets to get here. Kostruk entered the tournament unseeded and would take on Sigamund in the first round. And after splitting the first two sets, would fight to win 6-3, 6-7, 6-4. In the second round, she'd take on the number five seed in Australian Open finalist Zhang, who had had a pretty easy first round match against Kostea. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, Kostruk would face match points, eventually winning in three, 6-2, 4-6, 7-5, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Kostruk would take on the number three seed, Goff, who had just battled through Vickery in the previous round. And this was no different, with Kostruk needing eight match points to win the match in a tiebreak, 3-6, 6-4, 7-6, -6, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Kostruk would take on the number six seed, Von Drusova, who had just taken out Sabalenka in the previous round. And after a close first set, would get through in straights, 7-6, 6-2, -6 to advance to the final. We're back into the tournament as a number four seed and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Kudamatova, who had just beaten Krajikova in the first round. After splitting the first two sets, Rabakina would eventually win in three, 7-6-1-6-6-4, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rabakina would take on the unseeded Paulini, who had just beaten Jabur in the previous round. After splitting the first two sets, Rabakina would eventually win in three, 6-3-5-7-6-3, to advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, Rabakina would take on the number one seed, Fiontech, who'd won this tournament twice in a row and was looking for a third. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, Rabakina would win in the third, 6-3, 4-6, 6-3, to advance to the final. These two have played twice before, both of those happening last year on hard courts, with Kostruk winning the first match in Adelaide in a close three-setter, and then Rabakina winning at the US Open easily. So first time on clay, and also the first time in a big final as well. If Kostruk's gonna win this one, she has to win the first set, like she did against Von Drusova. She's played so much more tennis than Rabakina this week, so she really needs to get off to a good start, and also keep her cool as well, because we know Rabakina hits it hard, and all the winners coming from Rabakina could frustrate Kostruk, so she's gotta keep her cool and accept those winners. If Rabakina's gonna win this one, she needs to serve well. She served okay against Fiontech. In the end, it was enough to get through, but she really didn't serve great in the middle of that match. So she's got to serve really well in the entire match to get through Kostruk, who's really good at running the ball down. Also got to use her experience in this one because, of course, it's her fifth final of the season. She knows how to win these big trophies. Kostruk, never been here before in this massive of a final. So really got to use that experience as well to her advantage. Really fun matchup, and not the matchup I don't think anyone expected at the start of the week, but I've got to go with Rebecca in this one. I think a close straight set for Rebecca. I think her experience will shine through, but let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this one.